Okay, make sure your air conditioning is working. Are you enjoying the hot weather? No, you're not. If you're not a big fan of the heat, you're probably not going to like what we're about to show you. You might have seen this viral tweet from a meteorologist in Atlanta about a so-called heat dome that could form over the Pacific Northwest next week. He said it could mean, quote, obscene temperatures, whatever that means. It doesn't sound good. Over 100 degrees in parts of Oregon and Washington. But before you go out and buy up all the fans and air conditioners in town, let's get some, uh, some context here with... Our chief meteorologist, Matt Safino, is this so a heat dome? Is that a thing? Did he make that up? No, you know, what Ryan's doing is, I mean, you've heard the term a dome of high pressure, right? right. So that's what he's talking about. This one happens to be large and intense and is going to last a while, but it's kind of like when we had the polar vortex several years ago. That term had been in the meteorological language for decades, but somebody put it into Twitter and mm. it became a thing around the nation as if it was brand new. This isn't brand new, but this setup that we're getting, going into is extreme especially for this time of the year. Dome of high pressure, I've heard that. Right. I've heard meteorologists say that, but sure. heat domes, got it's catchy. It's catchy, on yeah. i got to give them some credit for the, the branding there. Let's talk about the extreme temperatures mm -hmm. because I guess they will be pretty extreme for this part of the country. Yeah, one thing he did there is he mentioned that it, basically he was quoting the raw model output from the European model, and some of the other models are doing the same thing, and some of those numbers really are ridiculous. So I liken this to in the wintertime when we know we have a snowstorm coming, mm. several days out in, ad, in advance of said event, I'll see the model output showing like Portland's going to get 20 inches of snow. And it'll do that for a couple of days. Then by the time you're like one day away from the event, it's going to be okay, it's an inch and a half. Right. So that's what I'm expecting to happen with these ridiculous numbers that we're getting from the models, which I don't even quote because I think it's a little too sensational. It's not realistic and I'm not, gonna for, I'm not forecasting that, so why would I talk about it? Because then people just go, it's going to be 120 and yeah, they freak you, out. You know the game of telephone it, or it's, Twitter phone yeah, or whatever Exactly. Works, yeah. so, so that is not what's going to happen. It is going to be, we are going to be flirting though with Portland's all-time record high high temperature, which is 107, hmm. which was set three times, twice in 1981, August 8th and 10th, once in 1965 in late July. Notice the timing of that, though, Dan, late July, early August. That is typically our hottest time of the year. So to get this really hot weather now, one of the things I'm concerned about is sim the simple fact that our days are a lot longer now. We just passed the solstice. So our days are as long as they get, which means there's more time for heating, less time for cooling down from this ex excessively hot weather so it's going to be more unbearable just in terms of the livability of it all not just the, the daily hours but then the day after day after day because right. it, it's not like a, a spike and then it cools down again yeah it's not like it's a one or two day deal like we just had right. it's like okay it's going to cool off like it did today the last time we had three days in a row of triple digit heat was 2009 that was late july as well two of those days we hit 106 and i was forecasting here then we thought we were going to break portland's all-time record high of 107 back then we we're forecasting I remember forecasting like 108, 109. We ended up getting some high clouds coming in, kept us at 106. So we didn't, you know, oh boy. A chilly 106. Yeah, right. Yeah, so right. we didn't set the all time record high. But I'm forecasting 105 right now for Sunday and 103 on either side of that. We're within a few degrees of that 107 mark. So we may very well end up at 108 or 109, which would be a new all time record. And then the triple digits are kind of bookended by 95 high plus, which means five days in a row over 95. That's a long time for us to be that hot. All right. Matt Safino, thank you, sir. You bet.